Hey y'all, so I wanted to show off my latest project that I just completed. This is a press for my high speed rotary drill. Got the base there and the whole unit. So the drill, or the rotary tool, is this thing right here. And it's got this uh, extension which is about a meter long. And then this handle. And I've always wanted a, a press for it so that I could do, you know, accurate drilling. But I never really had an opportunity to make one until now. Now that I've got my 3D printer, I went ahead and built this. If we have a look at it from the side, so we can see the handle here. These are just your basic old uh, black uh, bungees that I've got tied on there, just to give it some uh, pullback. So a single gear, driving this down. These are carbon fiber, uh, pull truded carbon fiber tubes. These are Avia 2400s. The handle is a wrapped carbon tube. It's a Skysharp P200. These are normally used for kites. Um, I have tons of that stuff. I don't know if you can happen to see in the background there, but uh, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of it back there. I got a nice guide here that I can just move back and forth and then tighten it down when I need to. I can set it at an angle or whatever. your holes nice in a row. I had to add some extra reinforcements on the bottom. I've epoxied these on because this was way too flexible. I made it with 15% infill and just too thin and it was just flexing like mad. It still has a little bit of flex. I'm a little disappointed in that but I mean what can you do? Um, should I make another one and I don't want to. I'm really quite happy with it though, it works well. There's there is a little bit of play in it, as you can notice uh, when you go down. This does get a little bit of play in it. Um, but, you know, I'm quite happy, I'm quite okay with that. It's a lot of play, isn't it? Oh well. It's good enough. It is quite good enough. I can do everything I want with it. So that is my homemade self-designed, 3D printed, rotary tool, high-speed rotary tool, drill press. You can see that there's a little bit, I don't know if you can actually see it, but on the hole, there's a little bit of cut right on the corner. That's before I added in the extra bracing here. It was getting flex and when I rolled it down, it was missing the hole and it was off to the side. So I fixed that. So there we go. These are all just epoxied. The gear is epoxy. This is a uh, fiberglass tube, actually. That is a, what is that, a three quarter inch piece of fiberglass tube? It's a rather big spar, it's for big kites. Um, this is epoxy right onto it. And then, of course, I got the, uh, uh, the clamps, which don't actually clamp. They have just the slightest amount of play in there to give me a nice rotation. But there is no play in that. Everything fits beautifully. So, really the only play is in this bit right here. Which I wish I had thought about beforehand because without it this thing would be really quite stiff. So that's it. That's my 3D printed drill press. Alright. Well, thanks for watching.